it's a bit tough for me because we had an extensive chat in the mid innings and I tried to get inside your head and talked about celebration. Let's assume new viewers watching this post match. Uh, just again, you know, the emotions, achieving that. Now, hundreds in all three formats, Virat. Yeah, well, I mean, it's uh, firstly, I'm very grateful for how the day went today. As I said, I've, um, uh, time away from the game really gave me uh, a good chance to sit back and observe a lot of things about me. I mentioned one special person who stood by me, Anushka, through these tough times. And I mentioned her because she's seen the absolute raw side of me uh, through, throughout all these you know, months that have gone by, which have been very tough, to be honest. Um, so, she's the one who kept putting things in perspective for me, kept giving me the right kind of guidance, right kind of vision moving forward. And I came back into the system a very relaxed person. I wasn't desperate to prove anything to anyone in the real sense. I mean, not, not in a way that, you know, I've done everything, but it was just about enjoying the game, understanding what God has blessed you with already over so many years. And then just being humble in, in the hard work and going out there and, and doing the grind all over again. That was basically what, what zone I came back in. And today, I think, was a build up from the last few games and today I actually batted out of my skin to be honest I surprised myself out there uh, yes we've seen the progression right from uh, you know the first 50 that you got every inning the graph was going up uh, just one another aspect being Virat Kohli you know the 70 odd hundreds that you've got at the international level they seem to come every second day and suddenly you're looking at a thousand and twenty days when it doesn't come so put that into perspective for maybe normal uh, batters uh, at the international level well, what, what actually surprised me was my 60s became failures, which was quite shocking for me. I was I was like batting pretty well and contributing, but doesn't seem to be good enough. So look, I mean, I, I, I can't really pinpoint anything to anyone. Yeah. As I said, God has blessed me with a lot of good times in the past. Um, and that's why I'm in this position where these things can be spoken about. I, I'm not saying that, you know, I feel uh, an inflated sense of ego standing here saying, I have created this. It just happened to me. Yep. And I have absolute no um, shame in admitting that you know, God is blessing us all with everything that's in, in our destiny. And uh, we just have to work hard. So I went back to the drawing board, as I mentioned, came back fresh, came back excited. Um, I, I kind of left all that behind me. And also the team environment, I had mentioned the management as well. True. They've had great communication with me through these times. They've kept me very relaxed, uh, kept my perspective very right. And when I came back as well, there was not much, you know, information coming my way. They just said, you bat, just bat and enjoy yourself. And I, I out of experience, I know when, I, when I'm playing well, I've done it in the past already. I, I can not play like that for the team. So it was just a matter of getting back into the space of enjoyment. It was always going to be a very important Asia Cup uh, for me personally as well, from your point of view, Virat Kohli's performance. As of today, you're the highest scorer in the tournament. So that must delight you first. And of course, going now to the brass tacks, technically, would you have made any changes at all in this tournament? Were you sort of towards the end, batting deeper inside the crease? Nothing. Nothing. I've had many <laughs> suggestions, many advice, a lot of advice come my way. And people are telling me I'm doing this wrong and that wrong. And I, I picked out all the videos of best times I had. The same initial movement, the same approach towards the ball. It was just what was going on inside my head that I could not explain to anyone. So. It's at the end of the day, you know as an individual where you stand uh, and what you need to do for your journey. And people will have their opinions. They are entitled to have their opinions, but they cannot feel what you're feeling. So I have, I have felt these last few months in a very, very different way, which is a very, very special time in my life because I'm, I'm very grateful for that time actually because I, 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 my perspective had to change for me to move forward in life, not just in cricket. So I feel blessed about that time that I was able to sit back really accept things, really go absolutely to the bottom and then work my way slowly back up again where I can just enjoy what I'm doing. It's an old cliche, it's been used many times before but it's really true, everything that happens, happens for the best in the end. So, absolutely. Well done Virat. Thank you very and much. And all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. So that was Virat Kohli, our player of the match and well India won.